All right, y'all, Joe here with Southern Coast of Cookie coming at you this Sunday. And look, got a new pit here over at my cousin's house. Texas made pits and spits, baby. I'm gonna have to get one of these for testing out at the crib. Let me know if y'all have ever clicked on one of those. Anyway, this one's got a really nice hopper, all this stainless steel stuff going on. It's our first cook on here. Show you what we got going. We got just a couple little racks of baby bats up top. I'm gonna slide that shelf out just a little bit like that. And we're just gonna kind of give them a little baste. Yeah. Right there. Oh yeah, just a little bit of base. Hey, I'm gonna tip them here in just a minute. They might be getting ready to be wrapped. They might just let them go all the way through. But I tell you what, this pits and spits is a really nice rig. This is the 850 model. So we'll check back with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So we're about to do a map of marine barbecue shrimp ribs. I'm done. Here we go. So pits and spits. It's got a stick of butter. About that. All right. So now what you putting in there? Uh, green peppers, yellow peppers, and red onion. Okay. About five minutes, we're gonna put some garlic in there, fresh garlic. Okay. Barbecue sauce, so it's put Worcestershire in there, and barbecue sauce, Cajun seasoning, and Cajun seasoning. Ooh, that's a thing you can use that W sauce, the real W sauce. She's got some shrimps, scrimps, put them in there. Okay. Cajun spices, get the shrimp, onions, peppers, and we're gonna try this perfect little piece right here. Oh, oh good. Wow, that is amazing. Very good flavor. I suggest you try that. Let it cool a little bit though. Oh, that's real good. All right, y'all, with the pits and spits, did a great job today. Just ran those two test cooks. I really, really want to have one of these to my grill arsenal. But uh, love it. Good American-made stuff.